we got us a little freezer here and short cycling. Okay, get the old cover off. Let's see what she does. Well, that uh, looks a little low. So we need to find a leak here, probably. It's had a few operations, as you can tell. It's a 2017 compressor. Got some craftiness going on here. So, shut her down. It's a little windy out here. May take a look at it with the ultrasonic. All right, the first thing I did was went ahead and scanned it the ultrasonic. And I really didn't pick anything up. And then I went ahead and scanned it with electronic. Still didn't really pick anything up. Um, searched the whole line set over here. Didn't find anything on the indoor coil. Scanned inside the covers. So at that point, you got to put your gauges on and see what you're even working with. Heck, it could be completely flat for all you know. So right now, looking at it, suction's low and heads up. You know, it could be something going on with the solenoid. So we're going to kick it on here. And see how she reacts. It's coming right back up, so you gotta watch for this too, because what'll happen when you're short cycling like this, it'll pump the oil right out of the compressor. So Giggles. I'm gonna go ahead and valve this thing off and see if she'll pump down and hold there. Just out of curiosity's sake. Just curiosity. And the way you're supposed to pump it down is off the suction side so it holds that direction too. I just have this funny feeling that it might think it's completely low and it could be something else, but I could be wrong. So she's pretty well holding there. So it is going through the solenoid downstairs. That's what I was kind of curious of. So as soon as we open it up, what's she going to do? Instantly heard it release. There she's coming up, which her kick on is a little, a little lower than what I'd normally bring on. All right, even scanned it with the uh, H10 there. I'm still not finding a leak. I went ahead and equalized my pressures out. So I've got 80 pounds on each side there, and it should be more than enough to get me something. I've scanned that condenser. I've scanned the line set. Just I'm not finding anything. But when I got looking at my defrost clock here, time's off, which who knows if somebody set it correctly ever anytime lately. But just kind of feeling it, it's feels a little like stuck. I didn't push hard because I want to try to find out if that's the case. It looks like it might be losing a fan there too on that left side. Now see I equalize that thing and look how she's building up. Very, very odd. I wonder if I didn't uh, somehow take it out of a Defrost. Okay, so that's why I didn't really want to go on gung ho here. Let's do a little mark there, to there. We'll let this thing run. We ain't out nothing. It's running. Sight glass is full. We had something pumping down. Right, she's tracking. I mean, I didn't try very hard to move it, but maybe I broke it loose. I don't know. It's getting ready to go into a defrost, which is the, the odd thing here. So we're mainly just running the contactor here with the, the fans. So let's go ahead and push her into the into the defrost. Heaters came on. 
see she pumps down like it's supposed to and stays off. Yeah, this is really, really odd. Click, up she goes. On a 200 pound head, that's a 215, which really don't see that. It's a 215 on the headmaster there. Not perfect, but sometimes they're not. Not a humongo surprise. Not real care. I don't really care for the on pressure. It's a little out of whack. I'm gonna let it run for a little bit and see if it starts acting up again. The more I got thinking about it, since we had an empty sight glass, the only thing it would have intercepted it would have been our filter dryer, which was just recently changed. Well, damn well near the same. So, in all reality, you should be able to clamp onto there, clamp onto here, and any difference you got should tell us whether or not this thing is plugged up. All right, look at that. It's been running for a while, and we got a 2.8. Make sure it's not some false alarm here. Nice and tight, nice and tight. There it goes again. I'm gonna go with the dryer's got something going on in it. I'm gonna change it. I mean, look at our, you know, that's just probably because it was liquidy, because I mean, we are, it is kind of cooler out today. So that glass is still there. I'm gonna pump this thing down, change that dryer. That's about all I can come up with right now. Because when I played back the video, that sight glass was empty. And the only thing that would keep it from being full would be a plug dryer or if maybe something's inside this receiver and that uh, basically it's got something floating around getting in that tip tube, plugging it, but I've never heard of something like that. So if you guys have, leave something in the description down below, but at this point, I can't be here all day just hoping for the best, so dryers are made to get crap out of the system. All right, we're gonna go ahead and replace this. Just basically salvaging the nut off of this. Got our POE oil ready to go to put on our threads. Wherever the heck I put that, there we go. I keep an old zoom spout for my uh, POE oil for putting on the threads. We're just going to redo it. We're going to put a flare dryer in there. It's going to make it a little easier to change next time, especially if we happen to have something floating around in there. That way uh, we'll uh, be able to change it kind of quickly. Basically what I'm using here is a, it's called Master Cool. It's an orbital flare tool. Works really good and it's pretty quick and fast. Otherwise I got my yellow jacket that I had forever, but it's a traditional one. So we're gonna salvage this nut here and uh, bend us a loop there with that right there. We got it in there. It's all mounted back in right. Everything's square and looks decent. And uh, so we're getting ready to bust her loose here. Gotta finish uh, evacuating that little section there and then we should be good to go. Everything still looks the same. Just sprayed it for leaks. Everything's leak free, no bubbles. I'm confused on this one. Unless we got something going on in the TXV, but I still don't explain why that was splashing there and then was pretty well empty. Hard to fix something if it's not gonna act up while I'm here. Basically, I just cooled down my condenser and it wasn't until I hit about 175 that I finally start feeling hot gas come through. My suction started to drop, my head pressure still dropping down. Our superheat was really high and look at that, she just shut off. So, it really appears we got something going on with the uh, headmaster control not working properly like it should. I mean, it opened, but it didn't seem to do its job. I'm gonna pump it down and feel my receiver. Look at that, sure sh Look at that head pressure. All right, so, 
what we ended up finding out was going on here is our headmaster control was acting up on us. So I added some water to the condenser, slowly, slowly added more and more water until I finally got my head pressure to drop. The head pressure uh, basically uh, dropped down to about 140 pounds, 150 pounds. And this is a 215 pound uh, headmaster valve. Uh, ended up finally starting to get warm. So it was randomly acting, it's basically sticking. And um, like I said, we had a fan motor there on the left that's going out. So we're going to order that. We're going to order a new headmaster. Went ahead and added a little extra refrigerant to kind of help hopefully maintain it so we can get back with that valve and then get her changed out. We'll just recover it and change it. But that's what's going on. This one kind of threw me for a loop because I've never really had them act up to the point where they work, don't work, work, don't work. So uh, usually every time I've had them, they've either not worked and that was the end of it. So... That's what's going on with this one. This one here threw me for a little bit of a loop. So got to make sure it pumps down here that we don't have too much refrigerant in it. And then uh, we'll be able to shut her down.